I hope my son's antics don't disturb you. Madam, were it in my power to sentence him to 30 days hard labor, they would not disturb me in the slightest. Smashing day for it. On holiday? No. Oh, Leslie. Uh, it isn't true. Oh, oh big pardon, ma'am. Miss. Yes, of course, yes. Have to be, wouldn't it? Damn fool. I suppose I'll be expected to tend to his wounds after he piles up, and I don't fear that. No one injured, at least. No apparent damage to the cars. Young fool must lead a charmed life. That's a lot. My money's on the servants. The servant's usually always the guilty one in the end. Welcome to Sticklehaven, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Davis, the Harbour Master. Sorry. Waiting for me. That's everyone, then. The other bags are already on board the boat there. Blimey. It must be him. In the flesh. All set, Nerakot. Ready, sir. Right. I'll leave it to you then. Seas calm. Should be a pleasant crossing. If you leave now, there's a squall coming. I can smell it. Why is it called Shipwreck Island? Well, the weather can turn nasty quickly. There are many submerged rocks, lots of wrecks hereabouts. And that big rock at the tip is said to resemble a beached schooner. The locals call it Ship Rock. You're not from around these parts, then, Mr. Narakon? No, sir. I'm not. It'll never work. If you would be so good as to follow that path up to the house, my wife will show you to your rooms. I expect you'd all like to freshen up after your journey. Where's Fred? Under the weather. I took his place. You'd be the brother then. I see the resemblance. Will you help me with the bags? Yes. I've been hoping to get a look at the house. Chapter 1. Ten little sailor boys went out to dine. One choked his little self, and then there were nine. Thank you for your assistance, Mr. Narakot. Everything and everyone nicely in place. I must say, I don't much like these clouds. I expect you should be heading back without delay. Now it begins. Don't worry, Fred. I won't let you down. Oh, just a drizzle. It's going to get much worse.
I have more important things to do than chat. This house looks as sturdy as a fortress. I should return to my boat to retrieve some supplies before I begin any real investigating. Daunting. Wouldn't want to be caught out there without a good motor. Scuttled. I wonder who would have done such a thing. Lit. Well, this island isn't as primitive as I imagined. Lit. Well, this island isn't as primitive as I imagined. No. These rocks are too precarious to climb. I'd better stick to the path. Slick rocks and steep drops. Potentially lethal combination. Maricot, you gave me quite a turn. Taking a stroll, Mr. Marston. Uh, just a short constitutional before dressing for dinner. That storm's closing in. This drizzle's about to turn ugly. Yes, looks beast. What's that you're carrying? This? Just some paper and string I found on the beach. Roger seems like a tartar for order and cleanliness. Thought I'd help out. Terribly nice of you. Well, I'm heading to the house. If I were you, I'd do the same. Won't do to get caught out here when the brunt of this storm hits. I'll be along directly, Mr. Marston. Yes, yes, of course, old boy. Whatever you say. That was rather odd behavior. I should return to the house. Without my boat, I'm as trapped here as any of the guests. Surely an upstanding chap like Rogers wouldn't turn me out. Mr. Naraka, why are you still on the island? Someone scuttled my boat. Scuttled? Wrecked, you mean? But who on earth would do such a thing? I intend to find out. But that means, who will come for us on Monday? Unless this storm lets up, no one. Hear me, hear me. Come in, come in. You'll catch your death out here. <laughs> 